Hey, welcome back to the Trade More YouTube channel, everybody. Hey, this is Jeff and Ripple Lawyer suggests USC SEC chair to recuse himself over Bitcoin claim. Okay, so you guys know we've been talking about it quite a bit, that Ripple and SEC lawsuit, Gary Gensler and the SEC's extreme overreach. So this article right here is a pretty good one. I read a little bit earlier. We're going to go over the highlights. But before we dive into it, everybody, hey, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button, all right? Because on this channel, we talk about financing, investing, which includes blockchain, cryptocurrency, and, of course, my favorite is trading. Before we dive into the article, let's just go ahead and take a look really quickly at the market. Uh, the market, uh, Bitcoin is 23,311, so it's down 5.85 on a seven day per seven day um, percent, down 0 0.34, 24 hour. Uh, Ethereum's at 1622, and we've got XRP, 37 cents. So pretty much where it was yesterday. Uh, market cap is a little bit over one trillion dollars 1.64 so you know pretty flat if you just look at it the fear and greed index is 53 yesterday it was 50 right so right now we're still in neutral territory this updates every 24 hours represents the retail traders right the retail traders i like to use this because this is for me whenever this gets to you know 70, 80 people are getting really greedy. That's usually about the time to sell. And then usually whenever they're in extreme fear, it's time to buy, okay? And you guys know we look at the charts on this channel as well, but today we're going to dive into this article. Okay, so Ripple and SEC are involved in a long-running legal battle that's going to decide the fate of the industry. So this is not just a case against Ripple and XRP. This goes well beyond that. One of the things that I can promise you, it doesn't really matter what cryptocurrency digital asset you have. If the SEC wins this case, the entire industry is in trouble. Okay, The entire industry, don't you think that you're safe? Maybe you own a Cardano, Ethereum, Litecoin, it's coming for you next. Okay? So Gary Gensler, we know, is the U.S. SEC chair, has again sent out shockwaves in the crypto market with his latest claims over Bitcoin. However, industry leaders have launched an attack against the SEC chair for categorizing all coins as security. Yeah, this guy is on a rampage, and he literally came out, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before, and made the claim that, you know, Bitcoin is not a security. And here's the thing. The reason why he's saying that, everybody, is because he doesn't know who to sue. Come on, let's be clear. If he knew who to sue, Bitcoin would not be fair game. It's just he has no idea who to sue. That's the only reason. Okay, so... Stuart Alderado, he actually sent out this uh, tweet, I think it was uh, yesterday, on Crypto Lawyer PSA, Gary Gensler has again proclaimed that every cryptocurrency except Bitcoin is an unregistered security. He now must recuse himself from voting on any enforcement case that raises that issue since he has prejudged the outcome. Since he's saying that Bitcoin in reality is the only cryptocurrency that is not a security. What this lawyer, Stuart Alderati, is saying is he has to recuse himself. Okay? Recuse himself. So, and I mean, I, I agree. You know, I agree 100%. This guy is just completely out of control, right? So, step down, right? Conflict of interest. You know, if he says that Bitcoin's the only thing only a digital asset is not a security, then, I mean, he's already biased in that direction. So, anyway, let's keep rocking here. Jeremy Hogan replied, uh, Gary Gensler was obviously speaking not as a head of the SEC, but in his own capacity as a longstanding runner and lover of 
orange juice. They're talking about the Howie test, right? They're talking about the Howie test. And in the Howie test, it's what they use to measure what is a security. And they, you know, in this particular case, what Gary's saying is the oranges themselves are securities. Now, anything can be a security transaction, okay, depending on how you package it up and sell it. But that doesn't mean the asset itself is security. XRP Crypto Wolf, why isn't Congress reining him in? At what point do they say that enough is enough? He's destroying the industry and he's hurting our country. Yes, Gary Gensler, Goldman Sachs. You know, again, we know what his agenda is. His agenda is to rein this market in, deem everything a security, destroy it, hand it over to Wall Street. Okay. He is ex-Goldman Sachs. He is working for the banks and institutions, that's it, okay? That's his agenda. And, and I'm with Crypto Wolf. Why the heck hasn't he, why hasn't he been reined in? He's destroying, he's destroying it. Recuse himself, right? Another person, XRP ISO 20022. Recuse himself from voting on the Ripple settlement. Yep. And you can read this article. Here's a copy of Antoine versus SEC. So I'm assuming it's an article that talks about it, but let's keep going. So Stuart Alderati, Chief Legal Officer of Ripple, went on to correct Gary Gensler over his Bitcoin comment. He stated that the U.S. SEC chair proclaimed that every other digital asset except Bitcoin is an unregulated security. He suggests Gensler recuse himself from voting on any on any further enforcement case which involves the same concern. Adorati claims that now the U.S. SEC chair has prejudged the outcome of Antonio versus the SEC. So right here, if you scroll down, well, let's open it up real quick. I haven't read it, but um, I suggest go back and read it. Because apparently it has weight right there, right? So he's already prejudged an outcome. So they should he should step down, right? He should step down. Now they say this lawsuit should end here. Well, March. I mean, we're coming into it right now. I don't know. I really hope so. This this case has been going on since December of 2020. It's been a nightmare. XRP holders have been getting destroyed. And it's interesting because a lot of the Bitcoin maxis and a lot of people have come out against, you know, when that first lawsuit first dropped, everybody was against Ripple, right? Oh, my God. And it was their excuse to just tear up, you know, XRP and, and Ripple. But you can start to see people come around, right, as the case unfolds and you see that as the SEC has no case, right? No case. They're talking out of both sides of their ass, right? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, CoinGate reported that XRP holders, uh, lawyer John Deaton, you know, John Deaton is the lawyer. Well, there's several lawyers, but this guy is amazing. He's out there fighting the fight for us every day. There's that class action lawsuit, which I am involved Against the SEC, he's been amicus. You know, he's filed several amicus briefs. He's been a friend of a court in the library case, the Ripple case. I mean, he's fighting the fight. Okay. He hits out that Bitcoin maximum. Okay. We talked about yesterday, I think it was Kaiser, you know, making those stupid comments about Bitcoin. So he lashed out at Gensler and all these uh, maxis for supporting Gensler's comments. He went on to reject the narrative. Um, we went on to reject the narrative building on the market. Yeah. So again, we talked about that yesterday, but okay. So chief lawyer stated the facts that USC's record of losing cases in the apex court of the United States. He hinted that. So we talked about this case potentially going to the Supreme court. Okay. So if judge Torres comes down and it's not a ruling in favor of ripple, and this is, you know, up appealed up to the Supreme court. The SEC has lost four out of the last five 
cases in the Supreme Court. So that may not be a bad thing, but we'll see. You know, the bottom line, guys, for those of you that are new following the case, I know my channel is all about trading the financial markets, but I love digital assets. I have been in the digital asset space for, you know, what, December 2017, um, about five years almost, five years. And I own over 25 different assets. I believe that this space is going to be the biggest. It's going to swallow all other asset classes. Right now, the foreign exchange market is the largest market on earth. I believe this market will be. I believe everything's going to end up being tokenized. And I believe we are so lucky. This is a once in a three lifetime opportunity. And this guy is trying to destroy it. Okay. He's trying to take this away from us. This is the biggest opportunity in three lifetimes. And Gary Gensler, U.S. Uh, Securities and Exchange Chair, is trying to destroy it. Okay, so you've got to stand up. I don't care if you like XRP or not. You've got to stand up and fight for the case. You've got to fight because he is coming out and saying that Bitcoin is the only one that's off the table. And again, the only reason he's saying that is because he doesn't know who to sue. Okay. He doesn't know who to sue. And Stuart Alderati is absolutely right. Gary Gensler needs to step down. So I encourage you to read this case. It's in the Eighth Circuit, 1989. You can find it right there on Twitter. And um, yeah, I encourage you to check it out. And then just keep coming back every day. We'll talk about whatever's the latest news. We'll probably look at the charts tomorrow, see what's going on. So, hey, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hey, give me a thumbs up on the video, man. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps support the channel. And make sure you smash that subscribe button on the way out. Keep fighting the good fight, everybody. This is it. This is our opportunity. The biggest opportunity in three lifetimes. And don't let the SEC and this chump destroy it for us. See you back here tomorrow.